I'm sorry. Gigi, I have to talk to stars. Sure. Okay. Thanks. I'll come with me this way. So, um, have you made your decision about my baby? Um... If... If it's still what you want, I would very much still like to adopt your baby. Yeah, I just wanted to call and see if Marty had a good night. Uh, Jenner, I'm gonna have to call you back. I don't understand why you wanted me to meet you here. Well, we have some business to take care of. Here? Yeah, you're gonna file an injunction against Star. A man to a murder. Wait a second. What's an injunction? <clears throat> you said you wanted to stop Star from giving the baby away, right? Yeah, you know, if Star won't listen to me, then I know I know I might have to get a lawyer, but this just seems to be necessary. No, cruel. Yeah, well, it's a custody battle. They're cruel. That's why they call it a battle. People will say and do whatever it takes to keep their kids. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Okay, then. So the only way to do this is to file an injunction and stop Star from giving this kid to Marcy McBain. You have no idea how much this means to me. I'm just so glad that you changed your mind. Yeah, well, I, I, I really didn't think that I would. You know, when you first came to me, I just couldn't see how it would ever work out. But then the more I thought about it, the more I knew that it's the right thing. I know that you're going to give this baby a wonderful home. I really do. Uh, you do know that none of this is going to be easy, right? Well, my... My dad found out that I'm pregnant. Cole actually told him. Yeah, I, I know about that. Really? I, I mean, but there's nothing that my dad can do. It, it's still going to be hard because I need to convince Cole that, you know, this is the right thing. But I'm sure he's going to come around. Really? Yeah. Yeah? He, he's, he's a great guy, you know? And I know that deep down inside, he knows that we aren't ready to be parents. And... I just have to make him see that you and Dr. McBain are the right parents for our baby, you know? Yeah. Did I say something wrong? Actually, Michael still isn't convinced that this is the right thing to do. But you said that you wanted to go through with the adoption. I do. Oh, I do, Star, more than anything. But if you give me your baby, well, most likely I'm going to have to raise him or her on my own. Is that a, a deal breaker for you? I, I, I knew you were gonna have a problem with this. Well, I don't know. It's just not what I was expecting. Me either. And I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I know that when you asked me to adopt your baby, you just assumed that Michael would be a part of that package. Your, your dad, he came over to our place yesterday. He started making all kinds of threats. It was pretty bad. I can't believe that's so cold out. And now Michael can't bring himself to go through with this, and I can't bring myself to walk away from it. But look, I... If you don't want to give your baby to a single mother, I, I understand completely. I really... I just don't know what to say. Well, you know, um, a lot of single parents, they do really well with their children. Um, my friend Gigi, that's her over there, uh... She raised her son, Shane, and he's turned out to be a really great kid, and she raised him totally on her own. Look, I promise. I promise that I would be everything that your child would, would ever need. I will love and protect that child with all of my heart, and I will never, ever put myself before my child, ever. I promise you that. I, I believe that. I just wish this wasn't screwing up your marriage. I still want to adopt your baby. But you're willing to just walk away from Dr. McBain in order to do that? Look, he's made his decision. And I have made mine. Now you just have to make yours, okay? I mean, maybe you just... Maybe you need time. You need time with this. I, I understand that. I know that you would love this baby. Okay, that, that's not my problem. It's just that without you being married to Dr. McBain, I don't see how you can raise a child. 